Monica, stop talking. Now you just listen to me and you do what I say. You gotta help me deliver this baby because we don't have any time to wait for help. Come on, push. You stay with Monica. Wipe her forehead. Hold her hand. Just try to keep her comfortable. Good girl. Now let it go. Let it go. You pissy on me. Right now, I'm doing it right now. see. There. Okay. Now give me a good push. Here comes the baby. Come on, push, boy. Push, Monica, on, push. Boy. Help You're your doing mama. fine. Oh. Your baby's coming. Oh. Come on, boy. Oh, Here we go. Oh. Good boy. Oh. Good oh. push, Monica. Oh. Little boy's Three. coming. Good. Here he comes. Dr. Weber. Good. I think she's fainted. It's okay. I've got him. Oh. All right, Stella, hold the flashlight. That's it, Monica. Okay, come on. Okay, okay come on. Oh. Breathe. Good. Oh. Good. Monica. Here we go. Monica, I'm going to put there a towel in your this stomach. And Leslie's going to put there your little go. baby right on your stomach. Okay. Oh, here's your baby, Monica. There, look, Monica. He's fine, and he's breathing on oh, his own. He sure is. You're going to wrap and I'm tying the cord now. All right. All right. He did a good job. Very good. Oh, Monica, he's beautiful. He's perfect you in got every okay. way. Take him to the incubator. There you go. Oh. Oh. The doctor's coming. Dr. Quartermain's coming. Stella. Stella, take them the flashlight. They may need it. Yes. Leslie, Leslie, you must be exhausted. Go and rest. I'll take over here. Go on. All right? Monica, Monica. She's all right, Alan. The baby's alive. There's an incubator. Is he all right? I'll get him downstairs to the incubator, the portable one. Beautiful little boy. I'll go down. God, how did you do all this with the lights up? Dr. Weber did it all, sir. Stella, go, go and check, check on the baby. I'll be there in a minute. Yes, I will. Leslie, you did one fine job tonight. I did what I could. Are you still alive? Maybe we got here in time. Let's just hope and pray we did. What's it coming, John? Fine. Good. Good. Nice. Oh. I told you I loved you today. No. You haven't told me. Leslie, go and sit down. You're worn out. I'm going to go and call Lee. Leslie? Here. Thank you. Hey, were you crying? No, um, no, I, I'm just real tired. You know, you were magnificent tonight. I mean, nobody could have handled that emergency any better. Such a little baby to cause so much trouble. Oof. Worry. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know the power would go out just when we were getting ready to deliver? Oh, I was so glad it came back on, though, when we were leaving. I hated to leave Stella out there in that cold, dark house all alone. She was really quite a help to us, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. I got... got old Lee. At least he, he had some company during the uh, big snowstorm. I mean, Howard Lansing was there to keep him company. He was awfully relieved here. We were at the hospital. He said the streets are clear now and he'll be over 
as soon as he can make it. Leslie, is the tea too strong? No, no, it's fine. It's, it's lovely. Did anybody come out of Monica's room while I was getting the tea? No. I'm still in there. I thought it was too soon for a report, but... Well, look, you know, we mustn't worry. I mean, there's nothing we can do about things now, anyway. No. There is nothing I can do about anything now. Leslie, are you trying to keep something from me? Did Rick come out and tell you something? No. No, there's been no word. I just thought maybe you were trying to spare my feelings because you know how much I love Monica. Oh, God, no, Mom, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just tired. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I didn't mean to frighten you. You're just worried too, aren't you? She was awfully weak there towards the end. I mean, she couldn't even help us deliver. She's got to live. She's going to live, and so is that baby, too, because Monica, she wants that baby more than anything else in the world. It's a very special baby, isn't it, Gail? I think Monica's whole life is wrapped up in that child. Gail? Leslie? Oh. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Alan's really going to need you all. How's Monica and the baby? Well, uh, there's really no word yet. Oh, is Monica in danger? Well, you know, she lost a lot of blood. She's a little weak. Well, she went through so much during this pregnancy. Yeah, well, everything took its toll, Mitch. Was the baby born in an ambulance? No, no, it was born at the house and all the power went off. Oh, oh. good Lord. Yeah, the baby came before Alan and Rick could get there. You delivered the baby? Well, no, no, really, Leslie did. You have her to thank for your beautiful grandson, Edward. Leslie, we owe you so much. How can I ever thank you? We just, uh, we did what had to be done. Leslie was really magnificent. I mean, you should have seen the in incubator that she dreamed up. <laughs> so you delivered the baby? Well, it, you know, it was, um... Very tiny. I mean, being so premature, of course. How, how big? How big is he? Oh uh, well, we we really don't know exactly. I guess uh, three or four pounds. Oh my God, that's so small. Can he make it? Well, you know, facilities uh, for taking care of preemies these days—they're they're really terrific, aren't they, Leslie? Uh huh. Uh, yeah, they are. And um, he was breathing on his own. Is Alan in with Monica? Uh, yes, yes, he'll, he'll probably be a while before he'll come out. He'll want to stay with her till she wakes up. And, you know, Monica was just so anxious to give him this son. Rick's with her, too, I suppose. Uh, yes, he is, Edward. That's good. I've always had great faith in that husband of yours, Leslie. <laughs> still unconscious. She's lost a lot of blood. She's weak. You think there's enough plasma in the hospital? I'm sure there is. Look, we've had a lot of accidents in the last 24 hours because of the blizzard. Yeah. Nurse, do me a favor. When you go down to the desk, please make sure that we've got enough plasma in this hospital for my wife. Yes, doctor. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Alan. We're not dealing with a rare blood type. Thank you. I wanted to talk to you alone. Are you as worried about her as I am? I'm very concerned, Alan. She is very weak. She's got to make it. I would say she's in guarded condition. Maybe tomorrow we'll know more. I hope that her condition will stabilize. Stick with us on this one, Rick. Help us get through it. I'll be there, you know that. And the baby, will you look out for him too, please? Of course I will. I should look at him right now. Why don't you stay here with Monica and I'll... Yeah, I'd like to go with you. I think it's more important if I stay here. She needs you here if she regains consciousness. I know. All right, back. Okay. Rick. Yeah. Thank you. Go on. 
for everything. Well, would any of you like some coffee or tea? Uh, uh, no, thank you. I just.